Okay, so how well do you actually understand percent? Well, if you have pretty strong basic percent math skills, you should be able to solve this problem right here without the aid of a calculator. All right, so let's take a look at this problem. We have 4x plus 3 is 10% of 30, and we're trying to determine uh, the value of x such that this statement here is true. Now, this is a multiple choice question, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 0, B is 5, C is 7.3, and D is 6 over 11. Okay, now once again, try to do this problem without the aid of a calculator, but if you need a calculator, go ahead and use one. But if you know how to solve this problem, put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to solve this problem without the aid of a calculator. All right, but uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, now some of you might be intimidated um, by the fact that we do have a variable here. So you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm not really that good in algebra. You know, I'm good in percent, but algebra, I, you know, kind of forgot my algebra. Well, listen, uh, don't give up because you can still figure this out, okay? You can reason through uh, the answers here to still get this thing right. But let's take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer to this question is A, X is equal to zero. All right, now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence because you appear to be a, a certified professional expert in at least some basic percent concepts. Now, this is an algebra percent problem, but because it's a multiple choice question, you can kind of figure this out, but really, this is not that difficult of a problem, all right? But uh, let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. And if you're a bit lost, well, you know what? Percent is one of these things when it comes to mathematics and especially practical math. Just think about um, how often you see this symbol throughout the day. Right? If you're looking at your cell phone, you're like, all right, my cell phone is maybe like 10% uh, charged. Or maybe some credit card wants to charge you 10%, which is not reality. Unfortunately, these days, it's more like 30%. But you kind of get my drift whether we're talking about uh, percentage rates, inflation, how much uh, battery you have left on your cell phone, percent, this symbol, or if you're walking into the store, you're seeing sales and discounts, you need to really understand percent. It's probably the most important practical math concept that uh, you should understand. But uh, let's uh, kind of take a look at this problem from a big picture standpoint. Now, it's, this could very well seem confusing because we have this right here, 4x plus 3 is, 10% of 30. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about some basic math concepts right now. And that is translating a verbal word, okay, or, or a verbal phrase into a mathematical statement. So anytime you see the word is, you're always going to think of an equal sign. So another way to kind of think of this problem is 4x plus 3 is equal to 10% of 30. Now, let me ask you, let's just get rid of all of this right here. Could you solve this problem right here? 10% of 30. Now, if you can't solve uh, this question or if you can't answer this question, well, you're obviously going to have a tough time with the overall problem. But how do you find the percent of a uh, number? Well, let's review this real quick, and then that's going to kind of unlock what we need to do in order to solve this problem. So let's just use some simple examples. So what is 50% of 100? Okay, so 50% of 100. A lot of you are saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, the answer is 50, and indeed you would be correct. But you know, how does this actually work? Well, to find a percent of a number, okay, what we're gonna do is change the percent to a decimal. But you can also change it to a fraction, but typically, we change uh, uh, percent to a decimal, and the way we do that is we divide by 100, which, which is effectively the same thing as moving the decimal point over two places to the left. So 50% uh, 
uh, the decimal point is right here, 50.0%. So if we move the decimal point over two places to the left, that's 0 0.50 or 0.5, okay? So that is the result of dividing, divided by 100. So anytime we want to uh, go from a percent to a decimal, we divide by 100. Or we could just simply divide by 100 and call it a day. So for example, uh, let's take this 50%. So if I want to change it to a decimal, uh, it's going to be 0 0.50 or 0.5, or it could be the fraction 50 over 100. Okay, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to get a decimal. I'll just leave it like this. And that is equal to the fraction 1 half. Now, what we're going to do is take our decimal or fraction and multiply it by this number. So we're trying to find 50% of 100. So we could take a 0 0.50 if we have our calculator, uh, or you could just take 1 half and multiply it by 100. So 1 half times 100 of course, is 50. All right, so this is how you find the percent of a number. So let's uh, uh, kind of take a look at this uh, problem here, and we're going to kind of split it up in two little micro problems, if you will. So uh, for those of you that are confused, let's just figure out this part right here. So what is 10% of 30? Now, again, we're trying to not use a calculator here. So how are we going to go from a percent to a decimal. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to divide by 100, right? So we're going to take that 10% and divide it by 100. So we end up with the fraction 10 over 100, or we can reduce that 1 tenth. So if I take that 1 tenth and multiply it by 30, I'm going to get the answer or 0 0.10. Okay, so this is the result of dividing by 100 as well. But uh, or we're going from a decimal, I'm sorry, a um, percent to a decimal, or we can go to a fraction. Now, most of us uh, will, cha will change our percent to a decimal, but don't forget that you can also work with fractions as well. So one-tenth times 30 is going to be the answer. Okay, so now once you get the answer to this question, and I'm not going to um, tell you that right now because I want to see if you can kind of figure this out. Then think about uh, the rest of this question. So we have 4x plus 3 is, okay, so that's equal to whatever the answer to this question is. And then I think you can kind of see or figure out uh, what the correct choice is going to be. All right, now uh, let's suppose you are a math student and you run across this question. And you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, percent is one of my worst topics. I'm totally lost when it comes to percent. No big deal. What are you going to do? Well, definitely don't leave this question uh, blank. Take a, uh, you know, some sort of guess. And hopefully some of you actually got it right. You're like, you know what? Yeah, zero. Maybe this thing is zero. And indeed, it is zero. Remember, always, always guess. Never leave a math question blank unless you're going to get penalized for getting a uh, wrong answer. And that could be the case on some tests like the SAT or ACT. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. And now that we have a basic understanding of how to find the percent of a number, and we know that is is uh, the equal sign, let's go ahead and kind of translate this whole entire thing into a way where we kind of uh, understand what's going on. So we're going to say, all right, 4x plus 3, well, this is just 4x plus 3, is, this is the equal sign, 10% of 30. Now, remember, I can change this percent to a decimal or a fraction. So for right now, I'm gonna leave it as a decimal, but you should change it as a fraction. So 0 0.10, how can, what's another way we can state uh, what this fraction is, or sorry, what this uh, decimal is? There's two ways of saying it. One way is to say uh, 0 0.10 times 30. Another way is to say it, well, I'll tell you that in just one second. But first, let's go ahead and do this and get this little subscribe request out of the way. I definitely need your help to grow uh, this YouTube channel. It will not happen by itself. And obviously, uh, you know, I love posting YouTube videos. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, a little bit about my channel, I cover basic math to advanced math. Uh, mostly, I would say, um, up to like advanced high school level math or maybe first year college level mathematics. But uh, that's kind of my uh, spectrum of uh, math topics that I cover. But I have like 3,000 videos on my channel and I'm posting content all the time. So I try to kind of spread it around between algebra, geometry, basic math. So if you are taking mathematics and you need help, check out all the content on my channel or you might be interested in my full main math courses. You can find links to those 
in the description of this video. But if you're getting some sort of value out of this channel, uh, this channel is all about trying to make math clear and understandable. I need your help to continue to help others. So the best way to do that is, uh, or support this channel, is to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's get back to this problem. And we're going to translate it this way. All right, so we have 4x plus 3 is... 10% of 30, so we know is is uh, the same thing as equal sign, so we have 4x plus 3, and we have 10%, and most of us are thinking, all right, I'm going to change this percent to a decimal 0.10, or uh, instead of saying 0.10, this is what? One, this is the same thing as one-tenth, okay? So one is in the tenths place, so if we said one-tenth, that is fantastic, but I already kind of showed you that we can take this percent, 10%, divide by 100, and I end up with the fraction 10 over 100, which uh, we can reduce to 1 over 10. So we can say this 1 tenth, okay? So 0 0.10 is 1 tenth. So instead of working with decimals, let's uh, use fractions. So uh, we're going to take that 1 tenth and we're going to multiply by 30. Okay, so what's 1 tenth times 30? Well, hopefully uh, you remember how to multiply fractions. All we literally have to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So 1 times 30 is 30. 10 times 1 is 10. So 30 divided by 10 is 3. All right, so now our problem is down to this. 4x plus 3 is equal to 3. 4x plus 3 is equal to 3. So how, uh, you know, how can this statement be true? Well, if this is 3 and this is 3, well, we really don't uh, have a need for this, right? This kind of has to go away in order for 3 to be equal to 3. Now, let's finish up with the algebra here, but you can see uh, why our answer is going to make sense. So what we need to do to solve the rest of this equation is subtract 3 from both sides of the equation, and we're going to get 4x is equal to 0, all right? So now we get to solve for x by dividing both sides of the equation by 4, and we got 0 divided by 4, which is 0. So x has to be 0 because 4 times 0 is 0. This goes away, and we end up with 3 is equal to 3. And you would have seen that. Let's go back to this multiple choice uh, question right here. Uh, for those of you that are like, oh, I don't know, I don't really understand algebra. I'm kind of you know struggling with this. Well, you could just uh, plug in these values and see if this makes sense, assuming you have some basic percent skills. Now, if you have some uh, basic percent knowledge, even if you don't have the algebra knowledge, you would have figured out that 10% of 30 is 3. So you're like, all right, 4x plus 3, uh, that is equal to 3. Okay, so you just kind of plug in these values. Why don't we plug in a 0 for x? So 4 times 0 is uh, 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. Is 3 equal to 3? Yes, indeed, that is a true statement. So that is the solution. Okay, so this is how you can use the answers to figure out which is the correct choice in a uh, multiple choice question. And this is really important for those of you out there that still have to take math exams. Okay, so percent uh, uh, problems, uh, they really can get um, much more involved than even what we're doing right here. And oftentimes you actually do need algebra. Typically you need algebra to solve most problems. There are, uh, there's other approaches that you could use without algebra, but uh, as long as you understand percent from a practical standpoint, then you'll be good to go. But hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.